Hi, Steve Gamash here for Chef Knives to Go with another quick look product review. And what we have this time is the Takayuki Algami Super Hammered Archusime Santoku 165mm knife. So this line of knives has uh, three layer construction. So we've got the hard center core cutting edge steel. You can easily see that cladding line right here. Here's your cladding. So this has Algami Blue Paper Super Reactive High Carbon Steel. Heat treats about 64, 65 Rockwell, so they take that pretty hard. You can, you can get pretty high on Algami Super Steel. So what this is going to be is harder steel. It's going to be a little bit more, um, have more edge retention. It's going to be a little bit more work to sharpen. It's going to be a little bit more susceptible to chipping if you're not a little careful with it versus a softer steel. So when they take Algami Super High Hardness like this, it kind of, pushes it more towards the um, performance end, if you will. But you've got a little bit of meat on here as well, so they're not like crazy skinny behind the edge, so you've got a little bit, of, little bit of forgiveness there as well. But this will have excellent edge retention. The construction is a soft stainless cladding on either side of that core steel. There's a lot going on, so they have a hammered finish, what's known as Tsushime, and then that finish also has like a blacksmith black coating called Kudauchi on it. And then you've got have a vertical finish marks here on as it gets ground towards the edge and then here's your wavy line where the cladding gives way to the core steel. Very pretty blade, very striking. Weight and dimensions on these can vary a little bit from knife to knife. Uh, this particular one is 128, excuse me, I can talk, 128 grams or 4.5 ounces so it's light. Edge length about 169, uh, 6.6 .6 inches on the edge, and the overall length on this one's about 310 millimeters or 12.2 inches. Thickness wise, they're about two millimeters thick all the way down. It's just pretty well just the thickness. And it's a little hard to measure with the hammering, but it's about two millimeters all the way down. Not really any taper, distal taper to the spine, but then when you hit the grind, it thins out towards the edge. Not super skinny at the tip, Come on. So it's not super skinny at the tip, a little bit of meat there, it's kind of a balanced performance. And then same thing, it's not crazy skinny at the back of the blade, but that gives you a little bit of meat on the edge with that hard steel. They're fairly generous with the edge cut here on the actual edge bevel, so they're not bashful with, you can see the size of that edge there, they're not bashful with the angle, but Algami Super can handle that, so that's one of the advantages of it. So that'll kind of give us back some performance, that more uh, acute angle on the edge. Uh, let's see, height about 48 millimeters at the heel, so nice and tall. Not a lot of gap here where the tang starts curving out from the choil, so pretty much on the handle there, but you still got pretty good ground clearance there uh, for your fingers for a pinch grip, or for the cutting board, I should say. Handle is octagonal maple. Ambidextrous with a brown pack of wood ferrule. Looks like they've got really nice glue up and seal job here where the tang goes into the handle. Cool warm color on this uh, maple. And then it's not super light handle, so that's going to bring our balance point about right there, which actually is pretty good. It's not super far back. So there's a balance point, and for pinch grip for me, it's pretty close to that. So the, the neutral feel might be a touch handle heavy, but not much. So it's pretty doggone neutral, very light, flickable blade. Fit and finish is nicely done. Let's take a look at our beauty shot. So again, a lot going on here with this. So we've got the hammering. We've got screened in kanji on the right side of the blade. There's your coarse steel and your cladding. Nice, cool, wavy line there. Here's your left side of the blade. They've got, again, some screened in kanji there. Hammering. There's your, there's your grind. There's your cladding giving way to the coarse steel. They've done a little bit of relief on the corners of the spine, a little bit on the choil, so it's a fairly stiff blade. The grinds are clean, the blade's nice and straight. Let's take a look at it on the cutting board. All right, here we go. So this is the cutting board profile. This has a, just a great kind of middle of the road Santoku profile. It's actually very, very good profile. It's very neutral. Uh, so we've got a good flat towards the back third of the blade. It flows nicely into that stop. The tip is kind of typical sheep's foot tip on it, kind of low, but 
little bit of belly there so I can get up in here for the tip starts wanting to dig in so this will rock really nicely over small medium stuff no problem chopping towards the back you can do uh, tip draws with it not too bad and it'll do kind of push pull glide cuts no problem uh, so this is a really good just balance profile that's easy to use for lots of techniques so very well done on their part that's really nice it's just a, lends itself to lots of different styles so nice looking easy to maintain great hard core steel for edge retention this is the Takayuki Algami Super Hammered Santoku 165 millimeter knife from Chef Knives to Go.